last week I brought a series of my topic. Mayo, are you welcome? I brought a, a series I've been treating for the past six weeks. I brought it to an end last week, which, were, which was uh, the benefits of life in, uh, insurance or life assurance to the assured. It's run for six weeks. We discussed time assurance, we discussed uh, whole life assurance, we discussed endowment, we discussed annuity, we discussed uh, group life assurance, and we discussed, we rather it up last week with credit life insurance. If you miss out on any of my series, I usually upload them on my YouTube. Just visit my YouTube and do justice to any of the topics. So today we are moving on to the new topic entirely. Today's topic is, uh, is very, very interesting. You see, ignorance, the, the people always you know when you are not when when you don't have knowledge of something, that is the simple definition of ignorance. That you don't know something, that is ignorance. Once you know something, then you become knowledgeable. It's no more ignorance. And a lot of things we think is not possible if you don't know it but once you know it you look at the art so this is how this thing is now when 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 things happen when a lot of businesses have been cut short the lifespan of a lot of businesses have been cut short simply because there was a fire disaster you no know, when fire occurs or when fire happens some some business owners, I mean, they just that that might even take their life because the thought of where will I start from, you no, know, always send some of them to their early grave. But today, this evening, we'll be talking about a very very important aspect of insurance that can keep you afloat, that can make you to end profits even after a fire disaster. That is when there, there is a loss, if there is a loss, you can still end the profit you, you ought to have earned as if there was no uh, loss. So that is what we'll be considering this, this evening, how to earn profit in business after a fire disaster. So let's, let's kick off and I know others join us. Now, what do we call the name of that type of insurance? We call it business interruption insurance. Business interruption insurance, that is, when your, when your, when your business is interrupted, when there is a stop, well, I mean, when you, you could not operate your business because of a fire loss, well, because of a fire disaster, because you know, maybe maybe you are running a shop, for example, and there was a fire outbreak. So that time that you could not open that shop because of that fire outbreak, that is what we call business interruption. That is the time you could not operate because there was a loss, because there was a fire outbreak. So that's business interruption. And there is an insurance that caters for the profit you should have been ending, supposing there was no such fire outbreak. I hope you can understand what I'm trying to bring to us this evening. So we call that type of insurance, business interruption in insurance. So what does this business interruption insurance do? It provides an indemnity in respect of the loss of income from a business arising out of damage to the premises of the insured. So this business interruption, it provides loss of income. That is what I'm trying to tell you. It provides loss of income from a business arising out of damage to the premise of the insured. That is the, pro the same pro uh, profits or income you, uh, you should have earned, supposing there was no fire outbreak. That is what that business interruption insurance provides. I'm sure you, some of you might be surprised that, ah, does it really happen? Yes, it does. That is why I first made mention of ignorance. No, what you don't know, we don't know it. But now we are getting to know that there is a form of insurance 
that covers your profit, that covers your income, even if there is fire outbreak. That is very, very interesting. Now we call this type of insurance business interruption insurance. We also call it loss of profit insurance. We also call it consequential loss insurance and time loss insurance. Now, it is called loss of profit insurance because it is the insurance, the profit you ought to have made. That profit you ought to have made, supposing there was no fire outbreak. So you can cover that type of profit. You can cover the profit. That's why we call it loss of profit insurance. We also call it consequential loss insurance because it's a loss that occur consequence upon the fire outbreak. That is, if you are, if you are, if there was no fire outbreak, you know your your business would not have stopped. So your business stopped because there was a fire outbreak. So we call it consequential loss insurance. Then we call, also call it time loss insurance because there was there will, there will be, there will be a time you know, that time gap. The time the shop was raised down, so the shop, then you're able to build up the shop again and start. So that time frame when there was no business activity because there was a fire loss. So I hope you understand the meaning of all the the, the names we give to business interruption insurance. We call it loss of profit insurance. We call it consequential loss insurance. I will call it loss of time loss. We call it time loss insurance. Now. Let us look at what indemnity period is. How do you cover this type of insurance? What you cover, the duration you cover is the indemnity period. Now, what is indemnity period? That period that, you know, starting from the beginning of the damage till the time it takes the business to be fully restored. That is, let's say, let's say a shop owner, for example, I'm citing an example now. Let's say a shop owner, maybe the fire outbreak. No, upon in his shop in the month of January. So from that January, for, by the time she is, the person is able to maybe build the store again, uh, stock up the shop again and start the business again. Maybe it has taken the person like four months. Maybe the fire outbreak started uh, occurred in, in January and the person cannot open shop again until March or, or May. So that's the space of like four months. So it means it's it it has taken that person four months to start the business back. So if the person now look at it that oh, if I know that if fire occur in this show, it will take me four months to be back on my feet. So that is called indemnity period. So the person may now say okay, I want to ensure my profit for four months. So that is the indemnity period. I hope you can relate with what I'm saying. This is a duration that is being covered in business interruption insurance. So if you look at your business, if fire occur, it will take me the next four months to be back on my feet. That is the indemnity period. The period starting from the beginning of when loss occur until when you are able to be back on your feet. That is indemnity period. This indemnity period, it has to be something you have to do your calculation very well. That are you sure four months will be enough for you to be back? So you have to know the time that it will take you to be back on your feet. That is the time, that is the duration you will cover. If you are into manufacturing, if you are into manufacturing, maybe you look at it that if this factory is raised down in fire, how long will it take me to? So to be back again, maybe in one year or two years, look at it. So that is the period to recover. So that is what we mean by indemnity period. I believe you can all relate with that. So that is the time we call indemnity period. So that is the duration. So once you know the, how long it will take you to be back on your feet, that is the duration you will cover in business interruption insurance. Now let's look at the factors that affect the selection of indemnity period. Just like I've just explained indemnity period. Now nature of business, no, I've just cited it. That someone who is just, somebody who just rents a shop, you know, you know that it's, you, are, you are even not the person that built the shop, you just rent a shop and you stock your shop with 
maybe roots with years. Let's just let's say years that okay, it will take you no where do and where do you get us? So maybe you only go to the motor market to get us what kind and you should so you know that maybe if if fire uh, raise down your shop, I mean maybe in the next three three to four weeks you'll be fine. You know, for you to look for another location to rent your shop and to stock up the shop. So maybe your own indemnity period will just be one month that, oh, the income I would have made in one month, supposing there was no fire outbreak. So you can just cover, you just cover your visa with, you know, just pick up one month indemnity period. I hope you can all relate with that. Now, if you are like, maybe, your, your own is you have a, is an engineering uh, is, a, is a factory maybe like uh, maybe where the, where food is being processed you no know, and a, a manufacturing company that you know that before you can um, bring the machinery be, be, before you can review can, because before you can install those machines before you re equip them you be, before you commission them and you train another another set of operatives because those, those operators once there's fire outbreak, they are not doing not business. They can go elsewhere to look for another job. So for you to look at with the time it will take me to start uh, recruiting another set of people before you train them and all that. So you might look at that. Maybe it will take me like two years or 18 months to do for my indemnity period. So that is what you would calculate and you know that, okay, this is my indemnity period and that is what the period you will cover. I hope you can all relate with it. So the factors that affect indemnity, uh, selection of indemnity period, you said nature of the business, time to rebuild, time to re-equip, re -equip, commission and chain operatives, time to restore, time to gain market shares as in, because maybe in the course of that, you have lost your mark, your, your customers. So before you now start having customers again, so you factor all those things together. Look at, oh, if it is six months, if it is six, eight months, if it is one year, so you will not, that is the period to will cover. I hope we can all relate with that. So that is what we mean by indemnity period and the, the factors that, um, that, that determines the selection of the in, indemnity period. Now, before you can pick up business interruption uh, insurance, there is a proviso, that is the a material damage proviso. You know, when I was starting, I said, supposing the fire raised down your shop or your business. So the proviso is that the, the warranty is that you must first have material damage insurance, that is fire insurance. You know, before you can, lose your your profits it means you are not able to open your shop do you or do we all understand so the first thing you must have in place is your fire policy so the policy is subject to material damage warranty so that is that is the profit so that is that is the condition of the warranty that before you can have business interruption insurance you will have fire insurance why why is it so you know if it is because fire raised down your your business your shop your premises that you are not able to generate the income so if 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 insurance now gave you give you the um, uh, the profit profits you have earned and you have still not gotten the, your your premises back so it does not so it works together fire fire policy and business interruption insurance policy they work together so that is why it's we, we have it in insurance that you have you need you must have material damage proviso. At least you must have fire fire insurance in place before you can go ahead to have your business interruption insurance. So that is the proviso that you will have. And and also when claim is to be processed, fire insurer must have settled you because they say that you no know, the fire insurer would have settled you so that you can have money to build to, to build your to build yeah, that, yeah. thank you because you must have money to, have, to build your premises back before you can continue before you can start the trade or you can continue with your business i hope we can all relate with that so fire policy is a proviso before you can have business interruption insurance i want to pause now and i want us to ask questions i want you to ask the question i believe 
you've been able to gain one or two things from what I have said about business interruption insurance this evening. So I want to hear from us. I want you to ask a question. Thank you, everyone. Those of you watching on me, uh, watching me on, on Facebook, I say thank you. My audience in the class, I say thank you. So I'm listening. Let's ask a question. I've discussed tonight business interruption insurance, how to end profits even when after even after fire disaster. Isn't that interesting? I need the response in the house. I need the response in the house. Isn't that interesting? Yes, I need the question. Please ask a question. The class silence this evening. Those of you on Facebook, please you can type your question and respond after this meeting. Yes, I'm listening. How to earn profit in business after a fire disaster. I'm, I'm sure some of us are hearing that for, for the first time. That is what insurance can do for you. Is, you know, I told us when I, the, the purpose for which I started this program is to bring the knowledge gap in the, in, 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 in the industry, to bring, to, to bring the knowledge gap within the insurance industry. And that is why every week I'll be coming up with different topics for us to understand how interesting it is to pick up insurance. I need a question. Can you unmute and ask me a question? Am I the only one in the class today? Hello, everyone. Please talk to me. At least you can greet me if you are not asking questions. Hello, everyone. I can see people. I will. I will bring down my slide now, so I will know. I, I will see a lot of uh, the people that are my good evening, Mrs. Oh, no, madam. Good evening, madam. Thank you very much for doing this with such consistency and in thank you, detail. Thank you, ma'am. And thank what you are doing um, is to simplify insurance for thank people you, like me who really didn't understand insurance until this session today. I had no idea that this kind of insurance. Uh, you know, is in existence. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad Increase to hear your that. Thank, Thank you, man. I'm glad to hear that. I know a lot of people are shocked that such insurance exists. See, knowledge is key. So I'm so happy for that uh, feedback, Madam Foto. I really appreciate you, man. So I want someone to ask me question. I need question. This is question time. This program is interactive session with Grace to Joe. This is Grace to Joe interacting with his with her audience. So I need response in the house. Even if you are not asking question from this one, the previous ones, maybe if you can remember any of the the topics I've treated. You no, know, I told us that I always upload this. This uh, program, I upload them every week and on, on my YouTube channel. So if you can always go back to Grace Ojo blog channel, once you Google, once you type Grace Ojo blog, it brings it out. You know, once you say Grace, Grace Ojo blog channel, you just see all the, you just see all the topics. This, this, this should be my 24th, the 24th video or 25th video I'll be uploading. So I've gotten a lot of video on my YouTube channel. So you can always go there. I may replay it. That's why I'm uploading it. You replay what, what, I, what we have learned in the class before. You know, just like I told us, I just want people to understand what insurance is all about. A lot of people when you talk about insurance, they say, oh, what are they doing there? So that is why this program is, is here for you. So please, if you don't have any, uh, if you don't, if, if, I want you to ask question. I want you to ask question. So apart from Madam Fonson that has spoken, I will call names because I want to talk to me. Let me bring down my slides. I'll bring down my slide and I'll call people one after the other to ask questions today. You must ask questions. <laughs> you must ask questions. Let me stop my slides. And let me see people that have come. Look at them. I'm not a lot that you are there for. Akim Pagbero, Oyo Joe, Silver Bell School, Maya Waike. 
You want that the lake? All of you. Oh yeah, I'm listening. I need question from you. Good evening, madam. Good evening, ma. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Well done for the good job. Thank you. I needed thank to you. ask you a question. I need a feedback. I just joined, I just joined in. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm trying to figure out what the line of discussion is. What I discussed is. today is business interruption insurance. That is, if you are, in, you are a business owner and the, your premises, the premises with which you are doing, from where we are, you are operating your business, if, if it's raised down, with if, uh, with fire we, we always say god forbid but that's reality it does happen so if it rains and that period you will not have to build that premises back the, 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 those periods you are you are you, you are not earning income you can cover that in insurance insurance will give you that profit you ought to have been receiving supposing there was no fire so that is what we discussed today, business interruption insurance. And I told us, the, we talked about the indemnity period, that is, if you look at the nature of your business, if you look, if you look at the nature of your business, that are, if, if fire happens, it will take you like four or five months to, to be back on your feet. So you can, you can cover your business for five months business interruption uh, period, the indemnity period. So if anything happened within that five months, you were not you were not selling or not, you are not making income. Insurance will provide that income for you. So that is what we discussed yeah, today, and we talked about yeah. factors that can affect the selection of indemnity period. So that is what we discussed today. So you can bring out yeah, that question. That's, from interest. that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Thank you for the recap. Thank you for the recap. Thank you, ma. Amotola, I'm, I'm listening. Ask me your question, Oyo Joe. Okay, Madam Punta, you have a prayer in five minutes. Thank you for your contribution. I really appreciate you, Madam. Yeah. Good afternoon, Madam. Good afternoon, sir. So sorry, I also joined late. I'm also preparing for my own Zoom meeting starting okay. at six. So no I couldn't have to be in. Yes, okay. but we know we have to sit to ask for a question. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, Akim Fagwara, let me hear your voice. Akim Fagwara, I want to hear your voice. Any contribution from Akim? I want you to contribute to what we have discussed today, Akim Fagwara. Um, okay, Akim. Akim, you have the floor. Hello. I can hear you. Hello. I can hear you. I can hear you. Akim, I can hear you. Okay, maybe the, the internet is concentrating. Amotola, I want to hear your voice. Okay, if there's no one asking question today, thank you once again, Madam Egon, for your contribution. I would like to bring this meeting to a close. Let me see. Oh, we still have time. I'm here, I'm here. Okay, please ask your question. I want you to respond. You know, you know, it's an interactive session. When I when I give my lecture, I expect feedback, and this is the time for feedback. So I need response from you. You have any questions? So sorry, I was actually in transit, so I was distracted most of the time. That's oh, why. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I thank appreciate you. the session. Okay, thank you so much. Maya Waige, talk to me. <laughs> well, I want to appreciate everyone. Yes, just like I told us, the this program i always upload it to my youtube channel even if you don't know what my youtube just google grace or your blog channel you will see it my previous my previous recordings are all there on my channel so please i want you to do me a favor 
always always have me you no know, re, uh, re, re, repost my link if you are yet to subscribe to my link kindly subscribe to this thank you everyone watching me on on facebook live please i have a blog i have a blog uh, channel blog uh, grace ojo blog channel please visit grace ojo blog channel and subscribe to my youtube all these previous uh, uh, the previous meetings they are all there if you need clarification you can play it over and over again please kindly subscribe to my youtube like it comment if you drop any comment on my youtube channel i'll i'll respond to it and if you have someone if you need have someone who is in need of insurance services kindly reach out to me Re reach out to me my okay i've, I've removed my slide yes my slide is always there let me see let me let me bring my slides up again so please always reach out to me you, you can reach out to me through info at graceojoblog.org or info at bimboconsultancyservices.com. You can always call me to 0026940605. And my channel, my, my blog channel is Grace Ojo Blog Channel. If you want to Google Grace Ojo Blog Channel, you will see all the past videos. So please, well, kindly, kindly rebroadcast the channel. Once I, some of you who are my regular contacts, who are my contact list, I always share my link on, on Facebook, on LinkedIn and all that on WhatsApp. Please let me rebroadcast it so that this, just like I told us that the purpose of this program is to bring about enlightenment, is to, is to bring the knowledge gap. There's a huge knowledge gap in the insurance industry. And the purpose of this program is to bring the knowledge gap. So that is why I have all this uh, uh, lectures on YouTube channel. You can always, I mean, revisit it and, and share it with others. I really appreciate those of you that have been consistent, those of you that have always been attending, and those of you joining me on Facebook. Even the, on Facebook, after the, this time, a lot of people still watch because the, the Facebook will always bring it up. So a lot of people are watching this program. So I really want to appreciate everyone, everyone that come across this program and they watch it. I really want to say thank you. I want to say thank you, everyone. Mr. Fata Adeguero, my senior colleague, I really want to, I, I welcome you. And I say good evening, sir. Good evening, my sister. Sorry, I've been in another meeting. Yes, I, I understand. I discuss, what I discussed today is business interruption insurance. And I wanted people to ask my, me questions. Everybody, nobody's asking questions because they seem to understand what I've discussed. <laughs> that is oh, what that, that's good. Yes, sir. That, that's good. <laughs> so that, that's what we discussed. And I, I'm about right now because I, I expected questions from there and they, they did no, not. No, maybe, maybe uh, hello. Okay, Akim, I'm uh, hello. Yeah, I could not hear you that uh, time. Yes. Uh, uh, let, yes. Let me first use this opportunity to congratulate you on your uh, on the achievement recently. My, my uh, I've been meaning to call you personally. Thank you. Thank you uh, so in much. In fact, it's uh, it, 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 it's a it's a it's a dream come true because I know that that dream is um, long overdue. Yes. Thank uh, you very much. Secondly. Adi. The, you know, we, are, we, are, we have made us, we are becoming, we are fast becoming insurance experts with your program. Okay, so thank you. The, the, those rudiment questions that we asked that time, you know, when you are still a, a, a rookie in something, those questions are, we now have some level of understanding okay. of some of the things that you're not discussing now. Thank or you, like Akim. The initial <laughs> stage that we don't even know all those, you, know, you see the way we normally attack you seriously. Uh, but the attacks are not coming now because we are we are beginning to have understanding of um, you know the insurance itself. Mm. Okay. So that, that that's that's basically what I think it is. Mm. Akim, I really appreciate that uh, comment. I really appreciate this. Thank like, you. This, 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 I, I, I'm I'm elated with that feedback. <laughs> Thank you very mm. much. I really appreciate Thank you. <laughs> so yes, this is so Mister 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 Roxa. Do you have anything yes, to contribute to, to what we have said? 
I know you said you came late, but I still want to. You are my, you are, you are my senior colleague. You are my, you are my boss. So I must always recognize your presence, sir. So uh, you still uh, have anything to okay. say about business interruption insurance, sir? Uh, uh, let me, since you are forcing words out of my mouth. <laughs> what, from what I learned, since uh, the participants don't have questions for you, it yeah. means they understood all what you told them. Yeah, okay. But it's a policy contingent on uh, a material damage policy. Okay, so, it cannot yeah. be taken alone. Yeah. You must have a fire policy in place. I discussed Before it you can take business, inter business interruption. Yeah. So you, and, uh, another point that I want to make there, is that uh, please uh, the participants endeavor to make use of professional to undo your insurance. Mm. No matter how intelligent, how brilliant uh, you are, what your qualifications are, you still need the professionals yeah. to uh, undo your insurances. Get a broker or the other professionals in, in the field to do it for you so, can, so that uh, you can maximize your benefit uh, from insurance uh, policies. So these are the few words okay. I have for them. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for always being there. <laughs> I really appreciate you. So on this note, I want to bring this meeting to a close. I really want to appreciate everyone that's participated as the comments. It's, it's more of comments, they no question. Just like I keep saying, they're getting to understand and they're getting to believe in, in me. Thank you that for, for that comment. I really appreciate you. So that's why I want to also to always let me broadcast my link once I share it. So I want to say thank you everyone that has been attended this meeting this evening. Let's meet again next week, same time between 5.30 and 6 p.m. every Wednesday. And those of you on Facebook, I say thank you for taking our time. Even those that will watch later, because I know a lot of people are still watching We'll, we'll come back to what the Facebook on this. Side. So I want to thank you ahead of time. I say thank you and good evening, everyone. Do have a wonderful evening. Bye bye. Yeah. Wonderful evening to everyone.